Welcome back to episode two of State of Decay 2. Um, last time we uh, sort of introduced ourselves to the game. Um, well, it looks like it didn't save properly last time. So I think we have to actually search all these buildings again. Nowhere for that to go. Interesting. You want something? Or did I just not take stuff? I can't actually remember. A um, couple of things you probably know. This is, uh, well, you would have noticed it in the first one, but I actually made the intro after I recorded the first episode, so I'm pretty happy with that. I thought it was quite cool. Um, I also moved my, uh, my webcam into the middle because it doesn't block as much um, here, except my character I'm noticing. So let's just fix that quickly. Yeah. There we go. There's me. Maybe like right there. I think that's perfect. That's that's the money shot. That's what we want. Um, yeah, so we're in this building. I don't remember coming in here. I'm going to have to run back the other footage just to have a look. Oh, Kukri. If only I had room for it. Did my characters go out and do something while I was away? Surely not. Maybe we were just having a look around and then we jumped in. I can't remember. But um, yeah, so ideally what we want to do is drop off some some stuff. And I want to head straight back there if I can. So Yeah, there's definitely a few things I want to gather. Um, so we're going to quickly drop this off. I'm not going to take all of it. something take that nowhere for that to go you want something all right we're gonna try and quickly get this so we can get out of here Up the pipe cool dropping off the pipe and uh let's like this, carry on yeah. we are definitely missing fuel oh. Yeah, watch the noise. Watch the noise. Is that a dead one? I mean, they're all dead, but... Oh, oh. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, so we really need to be careful. Um... With all of this, it's uh, going to be very easy for us to die. I guess this trip was worth oh, it after yep. all. Cool. Boombox is quite handy because we can use that to, uh, you know, distract some zombies. I believe there was something in here. I have an idea. Let's look somewhere else. Oh, okay. Wasn't here. No, it wasn't there. What am I looking for? I wonder. Locked. I hope nothing heard that. Yeah, I don't think anything. Uh, this is what we were looking for. Right. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know how it put me in the other. That's pretty heavy. In the other building. I don't remember going in there. Just uh -huh. Give uh, all of our items to Dean. 
Now, we are going to use our pistol for the first time. There's a, a bloater. If it explodes, it's, uh, it's going to hurt us a lot. You can see that when it blew up, there's a big old... Normally, it's just like noxious gas i guess that kind of kills you slowly but that's plague gas plague gas that's going to kill us a lot quicker so um, and it's going to build up our uh, plague a lot too so cool so we're slowly starting to get more and more now if we can I'm going to try and stealth as many zombies. Not like that. Stealth kill, not stealth. That's bad. Living or dead. Oh. Alright. Should be okay to just kind of run. But, um, yeah, you can kind of see that our cardio boosted up because we've been uh, running a lot more. So, ideally, what we want to do is gather up as much supplies as we can and um, start trying to get some standing to potentially get some more people. And, uh, you know, as, as we get more um, companions, I will add more of my friends to the game, which will be cool. And uh, if somehow I die, I will cry. Something? Yes, I want your shit. It's a lot of stuff. I only took one bullet, but you know, we've been relatively uh, lucky with not being scathed. Um, so no one is good enough or has high enough standing. To get a promotion to the leader of the group, but uh, I will probably make myself the leader. Um, said before, we definitely want uh, an infirmary. So we'll, we'll get Louise to build that for us. Now, we scouted out some places with all the things that have sort of darkened, we've, we've taken out. Now, one of these construction, yeah, either the construction site or the uh, unfinished house, we want to go there. Um, kind of don't want to go into this plague area yet. It's, it's going to suck, so. Um, I, oh, I do believe there was a vehicle down. Yeah, it's too far in. Um. Honestly, what I could have done is taken that toolbox that I picked up before and taken that to the uh, our burnt out car and repaired it. But it has no fuel, so it's not really going to help. Yeah, uh, on lethal, there's a lot uh, fewer resources to, to pick up. A lot more zombies, so... Yeah, you kind of can't idle too long, because... As the days go by, you you see that clock ticking down. Each day we're gonna run, you know, use up food. And uh, if we run out, our morale's gonna get really low. And if our morale gets low, then my friends could ditch me. Oh, what the hell, man! Don't breathe that shit. All right. Anything from behind coming? One there. Okay. Well, I'm kind of lucky that all of the zombies are actually going towards the explosion, which uh, I'm a little bit surprised about. Let's just make sure I don't have any echo. If it's been echoing the whole time, I'm sorry. I uh, used the echo to make my intro video, or my intro clip, so... I do really like it. Um, I'm by no means an editor. Jeez. Alright. Yeah, the screamer was facing our direction, so 
would have been uh, a bit dangerous for us to try and go up to it and there was a zombie that was kind of guarding it so I mean oh. and that's what I was talking about last time about your companions just hero diving through the through the window no no oh god Yeah, we really don't want to get bit. Oh. Okay. I mean, that could, <laughs> that could have gone real bad. He he lit. I don't even know how he got in the house and he jumped out the window. Bad, Dean. Bad. If you watched us, Dean, you did that. You almost killed us. Something's not right here. Alright. Hmm. Right. Yeah, so, I mean... You miss all of the shots that you don't take, right? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I shot some and I still missed some. You know, but, you know. I killed some. Wasn't my best shot. Not my worst. So, yeah, gathering up some pretty decent uh, materials that we can kind of use to, like, uh, improve our, our base. How's he doing? You want something? Mr. Unscathed, they barely got... They didn't even get touched by the plague zombie. Lucky bugger. Alright, we'll check this house. Nope. Get off it. Oh, God. I need to finish that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna lock you in, mate. Oh, jeez. That was also what I was talking about last time, even though some of them jumped through the window. There were still quite a few in there. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah. That's pretty good. Do you have... Okay, he does, so... Give him that. I know I said, you know, all oh, lethal, so hard, blah, 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 and we've taken on some zombies, uh, and nothing's happened to us too bad, but that's because we haven't gone into a plague hut yet, we're just kind of like looking around the outskirts of uh, our base. Well done, everyone. Cool, the infirmary is all fixed up, which means I can go home now, and... He can have a bit of a sleep and rest up and recover. Yes, finally. Oh, a combat knife. Nice. And get rid of our little I'm screwdriver. Here, but the, living. the last. Here we go. Now I don't know if uh, your like hand weapon that you used to like stealth kill. I, I don't find. think it has any. Like meaning? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all serve the same purpose of stab stab, so. Alright, I think it's time to go home. Um, and home is literally just there, so it's nice and easy for us to just head down. Um, again, you know, as we clear everything here, we're going to have no choice but to go further out. That's our car. We still didn't really get to 
the place that we were trying to go, but. No one heard that. Yeah, no, we're good. Are you serious? Another one? Can I make this? Nope. Got it. Thing is, if you don't clear out the... You know, the special zombies that are around your base, they will start to mess up. Um, and the last thing I need is like a, a juggernaut or something like that showing up because I can't kill a juggernaut right now. Sounds like they're pretty serious about this. Hey guys, I found a few things while I was out. Ooh. So now, yeah, both of them are quite tired. Um, so he's checked in. It's time for our, our mate Louise to get some action. Right, I should get on that. Hmm. Nice. Uh, Dean, you can go rest as well. Now I think because I've got both of them here, it'd be a good a good time to clear this. Fair enough. Now, you know what, actually, <laughs> Hello. wouldn't normally do this, but uh, she's going out there by herself. I'm taking that gun, and we are also going to take the comma. Because, yeah, I'm not in any rush to get her killed. I think sending her to the houses would be a good idea. Actually, I have an idea. You are joking. Get close to that screamer, he'll barf all over you. No. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, so your accuracy does go up with your shooting skill as well, I'm pretty sure. Um... Handling similar. I want to see. I got better. Need the alternative. If I can take luxury items. Don't need that. She can take that though. We might be able to trade these. I want to take her to our friends. Too loud. Over here. You haven't forgotten what we talked about, right? Last time we uh, went to the failure scouts, there was a, uh, a horde walking towards their building. It seems like they're okay. That's good to hear. Let's we can trade with them. It does let us sell a bunch of stuff. And of course buying it back is really difficult, so Oh. Alright, night time's imminent, which means we need to get back soon. Still don't have enough. Okay. I'm not really too keen on uh 
going out at night time. Not yet anyway. Not until I actually have some weapons and, you know, like a vehicle that I could possibly go out with. I need to catch my breath. All right, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to just stop recording for a moment and uh, cut until we're, we're back in daytime again, just so that, you know, we can actually go out and do something, you know, rest of and, and Dean should be all, all healed up by that point. So, all right, I will uh, see you guys shortly. Changed my mind. I waited a little bit and I kind of got bored. So, all right, we're going to go out. It's nighttime. Yep, we're recording. That's cool. <laughs> Just have to check. Um, what is up with every screamer and their mother being out? And a bloater? Wow. I really don't want to shoot at night time. But there's not a lot of choice. And it, oh, wait, no, it did it? No, it did. Yep, the area that we're in is not too bad, so it, it, yeah, realistically we should be okay even with one person, but, um, okay. I have a good feeling about this place. It's when we start going into like towns and cities that's the problem now. We, yeah, we cleared out this, this in, like this horde here, which wasn't really a horde horde, it was just normal zombies, but wants us to come inside. Is that nice? Now, the quest reckons that there's a sack full of meds here. Did I take it already? I might have. They might be wanting me to claim. How many? I think I've already taken it. Maybe. Can't even remember what I've gathered now. If they want a rucksack full of meds. I don't have. Oh wow, okay. Oh, that one was asleep. Oh, that... That's a pretty intense execute. Is that... No, that's not another one. That's no, not. Now, I do want to clear this place out. Yep, you can see that uh, places are starting to get infestations as well. Unfortunately, that means that uh, we are going to have to clear those out because um, the more infestations you start getting, the more um, like it lowers your morale. This is great. I'm totally keeping it. Oh, please don't give me another rucksack of materials while I'm by myself. I suppose I could come back anyway, but um, you know, you don't you don't want to have to. If, well, you don't want to come back unless you have to. So. But at some point we're coming back here anyway because we want to claim it for, you know, material generation because it will get to a point where we need materials. Um, and finding them just becomes quite difficult. So, Yep, bit of a weird one. Looks like a Z-free zone. She's still got some space. We run into a feral. Boned is what I am. I can't. Uh... 
gonna do this safely, I think. Awesome. Okay. That's pretty heavy. It's quite handy actually getting a bucket like that. Being able to supply water to our facility. You are joking. You are actually joking. Well, I mean, it did say that there's a lot more zombies at night, but I mean. But this is what I mean. Like, if we're not careful, if I didn't notice one of these. You know, or if I walk. Oh. Yeah, that actually. Made my, my heart beat a little bit faster just for a second. I didn't realize it was chasing me. But I mean, yeah, you can just tell the difference between, um, you know, the daytime and nighttime. Screw this, I'm just booking it. my breath yeah no way that looks like a proper horde though oh yeah see see the the armored guy in there the one with the like right gear on those are quite hard to kill you actually have to knock off the helmet before you can actually kill it so yeah, having a horde right outside the base is uh, not ideal. <laughs> Definitely not ideal. Hey guys, I brought back um. some supplies. We do really need to try and take care of it. Um. Yeah. It's a oh, you've got to be joking. Yeah, I didn't actually expect them to try and break in. <laughs> I really didn't. I thought that was just kind of going to walk past. Again, we've been relatively lucky. You know, I mean, she did get hurt a little bit, but uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. And, uh, yeah, she's not really, she just kind of needs to rest, so they all kind of just need to rest. All right. Well, I think in total that should be roughly about 30-ish uh, minutes, maybe a little bit less. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, and you know, not the most exciting of episodes, you know, but uh, I'm I'm hoping that next episode I can at least try to push into the plague heart. Um, I do really want to actually live, so I'm not jumping in being too crazy. Maybe when I've got a couple more characters, I'll you know be a bit more daring because I've got someone to fall back on, but. Uh, you know, you do actually need people 
alive to be able to build some of the uh, some of these things so if you don't have them you can't build them uh, actually so i'm going to build the workshop and i could could water to a facility i think it actually Just gonna give them attack risk. Yeah, so you've got to be careful with your noise as well, just from doing this. So there is actually a chance that we will get attacked while we are building these things. Um, kind of as you get the bigger bases and you've got more facilities going on, um, you'll have Hello. more attacks happen. Maybe one day we'll go to Trumbull Valley. Who knows? I don't know uh, how long we're we even going to live here in Cascade Hills. Yeah. So, I mean, we've cleared out a little bit. We know we've still got something to pick up there. Let me clear them. Yeah. I really need to get to to that. But like if you have a look. Kinda can't really see it. You know what? Actually, just before we wrap up, I'll show you what actual like this difficulty actually means. So you can kind of see here every zombie is a deadly threat. I'm gonna take heaps of damage if I actually get hit. Um any noise is going to attract them which i think is why they're actually going for those uh, blo uh bloaters that explode because normally they would kind of come after you but i guess they're going towards the not like the explosion um freaks and blood plagues all freaks have blood plague we've seen that uh exile hordes include one of each plague freak i'm really not keen on that uh plague hearts are absurdly durable so they already take ages to kill like you've got to have bullets upon bullets upon bullets to actually kill one and um i mean you'll see it when we go to fight one but we probably won't live <laughs> based on that it pulses as you fight it just continuously pulses summoning more and more and more in the area so yeah we're gonna get we're gonna have to be geared up i think uh, to kind of survive that one um let's see Oh, that's actually huge. Destroying a plague heart doesn't kill nearby uh, plague zeds. So usually when a plague heart dies, it does that. It, it, all the plague zombies in the area die. So you can kind of, if you're in a sticky situation, tunnel vision on the the plague heart and you'll be okay. But uh, it looks like now, not the case. Um, and blood plague kills survivors ridiculously quickly. So yeah. You've got to be careful if one of your survivors does die in your base, they will turn into a zombie, a plague zombie, and that kind of, yeah. Um, oh, vehicle reduced damage, that's rough. Oh, it takes more damage. Oh, that 100% food is crazy. What's the difference? I'm not going to change it. Massive penalty. Skills and standing improve at a drastically slower rate. Okay. Facility and outpost costs are increased. Yep, can see that. Deadly zombies. Ah, oh, dude, I'm not keen on that. Food producing outposts produce even more food. Well, that's handy. Is that a positive? <laughs> wow. Um, oh, low fuel efficiency. Already they they guzzle fuel. Items cost more. Weapons cost more to repair. So I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Only minimal resources can be found. High-end weapons are almost non-existent. Crossbows are hard to find. Well, we've already found two, I think, which is... Or was that the other game? No, we found one. Let's play. 28 to 30. It's normally 10. Oh, dude. 
Oh well. All right, guys. I'm gonna go have a cry in the corner with uh, what I found. I've got myself into, and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Take care.